I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everybody, this is Jason Dean with the Joe Blow Movie Network. Halloween is right around the corner and October is a great time for faceless villains in horror movies. So let's count down the top 10 horror movie masks. Number 10 is a collection of the masks from the Purge franchise. The Purge was an awesome idea, but kind of missed the mark on the first movie. Luckily, they bounced back with two much better outings, and the franchise is continuing to really flesh out the premise. The masks only help sell the idea of anonymity during a complete night of lawlessness once a year. While not typical horror movie creepiness, the masks do come across pretty eerie. Number 9 are the masks worn by members of Anonymous in the movie Smiley. What happens when you make an oversized smiley face emoticon out of something that looks like human flesh stitched together? Well, nightmares mostly. It's a pretty original idea and certainly bizarre, but the missing eyes and featureless face is what really puts this mask over the top. Still not enough? Let's add blood drooling out of the mouth in one scene. Number 8 is the blank mask of the killer in the home invasion thriller Hush. This movie debuted at South by Southwest in Austin and was immediately snatched up by Netflix for distribution. Even though it's fairly low budget, the movie has excellent quality in almost every regard, particularly sound. The mask is definitely not one you want to see standing outside your window. That slight hint of a smile adds extra levels of creepiness. Number 7 is a weird one from the classic film The Shining. For only a brief moment in the movie, we see a man in a full bear suit with a twisted mask of a bear face staring blankly down the hallway. For that moment as an audience member, you don't know whether this is an illusion or if it's really happening in the movie narrative, since the scene is left with no explanation. However, you can now look it up online and get the backstory to its inclusion. Go check it out. Number six is such a strange concept. Imagine a universe where horror movie serial killers are real and easy to track down. Now imagine film crews who want to make documentaries about these killers. That's the premise for Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. He's a major player in the world of horror movie villains and wears an almost humorous looking mask that is perpetually frowning. Add some near wacky clown hair behind it for an even funnier look while you're being killed by him. Number 5 is an 80s slasher flick that never spawned a franchise, nor did it really need to. The movie Curtains had a serial killer in a mask that has come to be known as the Hag. There's lots of slow-mo attack scenes along with ridiculous over-the-top murder weapons such as the sickle you see here. The mask is that of an exaggerated old woman with a sad face with the eye holes filled with the eyes of the killer giving it an even more surreal look and feel. Number four is the button face mask from the Clive Barker written and directed movie Nightbreed. What's crazy is this mask is by far not even the strangest or creepiest thing about this movie. But then again, we are talking about Clive Barker here. The mask is extremely unnerving with the buttons for eyes, but the best touch is the offset zipper mouth that creates a feeling of uneasiness when you look at it, particularly if you're OCD about symmetry. Now it's time for the heavy hitters, and what better way to count down from number three than with Jason Voorhees and his infamous hockey mask. This mask needs very little explanation, as it is pretty much an icon for horror movies. The Friday the 13th franchise has spawned so many movies that it's hard to count. I could have shown a montage of killing scenes, but the scene you're watching here is one of my favorites, where we see the origin of the mask in the more modern reboot from 2009. Number two is the famous Scream franchise and, of course, the ghost face mask. The mask has a striking resemblance to Edvard Munch's The Scream paintings and presents quite the expression with very little in the way of features. The melted design was originally created by a company called Fun World as a Halloween costume. Wes Craven happened upon it and made it famous on the silver screen in his modern day horror franchise. While not as unnerving as many others on this list, it lands at number two due to its absolute fame. Number one is probably one of the most influential horror movie franchises of all time. It's the Halloween franchise featuring the mask of Michael Myers. It's no secret that this mask was based on a death mask of William Shatner's face from an episode of Star Trek, but clearly it was poorly done. The mask appears to sag with an expression of lifelessness to it that hides all humanity of the killer. The psychopathic visuals of that face have resulted in decades of copycat masked horror movie villains. So there's our top 10 horror movie movie masks. Tell us down below which one is your favorite. I'm Jason Dean for the Joe Blue Movie Network and thanks for watching.